Hi guys, welcome to Chemistry Academy. This is Ramesh Reddy. Today we are going to discuss aromatic compounds. See, aromatic compound. Aromatic compound means aroma. Aroma means sooty flame. Sooty flame. For example, go to naphthalene balls. Naphthalene compounds are aromatic compounds. On burning, you will get one type of flame, those flame is called sooty flame. Aromatic compound shows sooty flame. Again, smell is sweety smell, sweety smell or pleasant smell. Again, it has high percentage of carbon atoms. High percentage of carbon atoms. Due to high percentage of carbon atoms, those are called aromatic compounds. Aromatic compounds. Now see here, again compounds are classified to compounds are classified to mainly three types. Compounds are classified to mainly three types. First one is aromatic. First one is aromatic compounds. Aromatic compounds. And second one is anti aromatic anti aromatic compounds last one non aromatic compounds so in organic compounds generally organic compounds are classified to different ways like saturated unsaturated open chain compounds closed loop compounds next again another classification aromatic compounds aromatic next anti aromatic and non aromatic compounds now see the conditions for aromatic anti and non aromatic compounds for example if any structure is given how to find aromatic see the conditions the so conditions for aromatic now first check the molecule check the given molecule open chain or closed chain for example see the condition cyclic cyclic planar conjugated system molecule must be what is the first condition cyclic cyclic means molecule is cyclic molecule planar if any molecule is undergoes conjugation conjugation those molecules are planar molecules. So, first condition cyclic planar conjugated system. Cyclic planar conjugated system. And second one, second one, if molecule undergoes conjugation, each carbon, each carbon or any atom, not only carbon atom, each carbon or any atom shows sp2 hybridization sp2 hybridization and third one follows follows 4n plus 2 4n plus 2 5 electrons so in that case find out 5 electrons how many 5 electrons it follows 4n plus 2 formula keep n is equal to 0 n is equal to 0 1 2, 3, so on, so if n is equal to 0, how many? 2 electrons. If n is equal to 1, 6 electrons. If n is equal to 2, how many? 10 electrons. Next, 3, how many? 14 electrons. These 14, 5 electrons. These electrons follows what is the formula? 4n plus 2 formula. Next, see here, if 4n plus 2 formula, those rule is called Hockel's rule. It follows which rule? Huckel's. Huckel's rule. This rule is called Huckel's rule. By substituting n value, then you will get electrons. Those electrons are called Huckel electrons. Huckel's electrons. Now, these all conditions satisfy what is that? Aromatic compounds. So, how to define aromatic compounds? Molecule must be cyclic, cyclic, planar, conjugated system, 
If any system undergoes conjugation in the datums or in plane, planar molecule, if presence of conjugation shows hybridization is sp2. Yes, go to next anti aromatic compounds. In anti aromatic compounds, see the first condition same cyclic planar conjugated system. In both cases, first one is same. If it is conjugation, any one of the atom undergoes sp2 hybridization. Second point is same. But third one, here presence of what is it? 4n plus 2, 5 electrons. But in this case, just shows 4n, 5 electrons. How many? 4n, 5 electrons. Here 4n plus 2, those are aromatic. 4 electrons, those are anti aromatic compounds. Next, you go to last one non aromatic compounds. Non aromatic. See the non aromatic condition. First, pick up any one of the atom, maybe carbon or maybe any, any other atom. Shows any one, any one any one of the atom may be carbon or any atom carbon or any other atom shows sp3 hybridization if any one of the carbon atom or any other atom shows sp3 hybridization sp3 means there is no conjugation those compounds are non aromatic compounds but in this case electrons may be foreign electrons or 4n plus 2, 5 electrons. Maybe 4n or 4n plus 2. Irrespective of electrons, just to pick up single bonded atom. Single bonded atom shows sp3 hybridization. Those are non aromatic compounds. Anti means 4n, 4n, 5 electrons. Aromatic, 4n plus 2, 5 electrons. Now we will go to applications. First, we go to aromatic compounds. Aromatic compounds. For aromatic compounds, see the example, very, very, very familiar example, benzene. Benzene, C6H6. In benzene, see here, with alternate double bond, it is a six member ring. Alternate double bond, it is a six member ring. Now, see here, see the condition. It is a cyclic compound. Yes, it is a cyclic compound. First condition is satisfied. Cyclic compound. In cyclic compound, see the conjugation. Phi sigma phi. Again, phi sigma phi. Phi sigma phi. So it undergoes conjugation. Conjugation is satisfied. Conjugation means total molecule is planar molecule. So first point is satisfied. Next, go to electrons. 5 electrons, find out 5 electrons. 5 bond is equal to how many? 2 electrons. Second 5 bond, 2 electrons. Third 5 bond, 2 electrons. So, number of electrons, how many? 6 5 electrons. 6 5 means, see here, follows 4 and plus 2 rule. Therefore, it is aromatic in nature. Just find out 1 by 1. Cyclic part is yes, conjugation. What is the conjugation conditions? Already I told you, resonance structures. See the condition for conjugation. Phi bond, sigma bond, phi bond, lone pair, sigma, phi bond, positive, sigma, phi bond, negative, sigma, phi bond. These are the conditions for conjugation. See, here all are adjacent positions. Phi, sigma, phi, phi, sigma, phi, phi, sigma, phi. It undergoes conjugation. Next, how to, form, how to find the phi electrons? Then go to phi bond, phi bond. Double bond, double bond, how many phi electrons? Two phi electrons. If it is any positive sign is given, just take zero electrons. If any negative sign is given, pick up two phi electrons. Negative means two phi electrons, positive zero, then again double bond is equal to how many? Two phi electrons. So this is for phi electrons, this is for conjugation, conditions for conjugation. Yes, clear? Next, go to next one. Again, aromatic compounds are classified to 
टू टाइम्स एरोमेटिक कंपोन्ड आर क्लासिफाइड टू टू टाइम्स वन इज बेंजीनॉइड कंपोन्ड बेंजीनॉइड कंपोन्ड्स बेंजीनॉइड कंपोन्ड्स सेकंड वन इज नॉन बेंजीनॉइड कंपोन्ड्स अगेन इन एरोमेटिक कंपोन्ड्स क्लासिफाइड टू बेंजीनॉइड बेंजीनॉइड जेडी एनवाइड बेंजीनॉइड कंपोन्ड्स नॉन बेंजीनॉइड कंपोन्ड्स बेंजीनॉइड मींस presence of benzene ring compounds which contains benzene ring that is presence of benzene ring presence of benzene ring those are called benzenoid compounds non benzenoid non benzenoid means absence of benzene ring go to absence of absence of benzene ring those are called non benzenoid compounds first we will go to benzenoid examples benzenoid compound examples very very familiar example first one is benzene see here this is a benzene formula c6h6 this is a six member ring three five bonds are in conjugation with alternative position just now we discussed how many Six pi electrons. It is a cyclic compound. Again, conjugation. Total pi electrons are six pi. Therefore, it is aromatic compounds. Benzene aromatic compounds. Next, we go to second one. Naphthalene. 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 This is naphthalene. Two benzene rings. Two benzene rings. See here. Two benzene rings. This name is naphthalene. See the condition. First condition. Yes, it is a cyclic compound. Cyclic compound. Now conjugation. Phi sigma phi. Phi sigma phi. Phi sigma phi. In first ring. In second ring also. Phi sigma phi. Phi sigma phi. Phi sigma phi. In second ring also it undergoes conjugation. So phi sigma phi conjugation is satisfied. Next, find out electrons. See, one phi bond is equal to two electrons. Total how many? One, two, three, four, five. Phi two ja. Ten phi electron. Ten phi means follows. Who cancels rule? Four n plus two. Four n plus two. Keep n is equal to two. Four two ja eight. Eight plus two. Ten phi electrons. Therefore, it is aromatic in nature. aromatic in nature see so, next one benzenoid compounds benzenoid means presence of benzene ring for example go to benzene in benzene three double bonds are in conjugation now see the aromatic condition first one is the cyclic it is a cyclic compound Yes, it undergoes conjugation. Which conjugation? Phi sigma phi conjugation. See it? Phi sigma phi, phi sigma phi. Again, phi sigma phi conjugation. Next, each phi bond is equal to total how many? Six phi electrons. Six phi means aromatic compound. Follows four n plus two rule. So it is a benzene. Very very familiar example benzene. Next, we go to second example. naphthalene naphthalene see the naphthalene this is the structure of naphthalene two benzene rings then double bonds are in alternative position see the first condition cyclic as it is a cyclic compound undergoes conjugation phi sigma phi phi sigma phi phi sigma phi phi sigma phi throughout the system undergoes conjugation Then find out five electrons. Three plus two, five. Five two is a ten. Ten five electrons. Therefore, it is follows Huckel's rule. Aromatic in nature. 
This is Naphtali. Next, you go to third one. Anthracene. Anthracene. Anthracene, presence of three bending rings. Three bending rings. Double bond. Here, second ring, double bonds, double bonds. See here. Like Naphtali, three rings with alternative double bonds. Anyway, cyclic compounds shows conjugation. Then 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 2, 7. 7 to 14, 5 electrons. 14, 5 means follows Hukel's rule. Therefore, it is aromatic in nature. This is anthracene. Next, we go to fourth one. Phenanthrene. Phenanthrene. Same like anthracene. Presence of three rings, but one thing like this. Now see here, all double bonds are in conjugation. See, three rings are straight, but here one is stopped. Same cyclic compound, undergoes conjugation, and presence of 4n plus 2, see here, 14 5 electrons, 14 means 4n plus 2 rule, follows Sukhel's rule, therefore it is aromatic in nature. Now these all are, what is that? Benzenyl compounds. Presence of benzene ring. Presence of benzene ring. Those are benzenyl compounds. It is aromatic or not? How to check aromatic? First check the compounds are cyclic or not. See here. All compounds are cyclic nature. First point is satisfied. And second one, conjugation. Phi sigma phi conjugation. See here in all cases, phi sigma phi conjugation. Cyclic, planar, conjugated system. First one is satisfied. If it is any system undergoes conjugation, each carbon atom shows sp2 hybridization. See here, indirectly each carbons are double bond, sp2 hybridization. Next last one follows 4n plus 2 rule. 4n plus 2. Keep n is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3. See here, 6 5 electrons, 10 5 electrons, 14 5 electrons, all are hookel electrons. Follows 4n plus 2 rule. Therefore, it is aromatic compounds. So in next class, we will discuss non-benzenide, non-benzenide with examples.